Welcome back everyone, uh, as usual this first minute is going to be filled with fluff, as a lot of times Twitch tends to kick me off in the first minute. Um, hopefully you saw my last video for Discordia, which was showing my build for her that I've developed right off the bat. Um, I think it's a pretty good build for her, gives her a lot of extra power. If I don't make it past the first minute, which we just did, Twitch tends to cut me off, I found, and I, for some reason, will not notice it until the end of what I'm trying to video, and that's really annoying, so, you just have to put up with me babbling for the first minute. Excuse me one second. And that seems to have been the false alarm. If I sneeze or cough, I apologize. I am still getting over a cold that I've had for about three weeks now <laughs> after going to a convention. But I'm finally good enough where I thought I could start doing a little bit of my video blogging again. As you can see in the title with RFL, we are doing this for the Relay for Life. The reason being, I am a kidney cancer survivor myself. This is my way as a geek to try to fight back. So if you want to help in the fight answer, go ahead into the comments. I will have a link below the, where you can donate to our relay team. And all monies that are donated will be going to the Relay for Life, which goes to the American Cancer Society. There are chemo treatments if it's far from home um, they have volunteers who drive people to their chemo treatments and doctor's appointments that this money goes towards it goes towards research funding all sorts of great little projects are um, paid for with the money we raise for Relay for Life <laughs> excuse me if you can help us out with that because cancer is not picky or choosy and will most likely affect you in some way whether your own health or the health of a loved one within your lifetime as it's a very low percentage something like one in three or one in five of people get cancer so it hits everyone at some time close to home one way or another so help us out and hopefully together with your help we can help cancel cancer for good. Um, I'll also be putting a link to the Cancel Cancer campaign which is what I'm running. We've got shirts and stuff for sale and we'll have some things for sale for our All Things Geek Firm. The shirts will be going to the Relay for Life also. So please check out the links below and give us a helping hand if you can. I firmly believe that the geek community can come together and really kick some butt with helping out those in need. Now as I just shown you guys in a previous video, I built Discordia, who is the newest mage. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some Clash co-op. I'm doing co-op versus AI because Honestly, I don't, I'm not the biggest tech person when it comes to the online gaming and how the microphones work, so if there are a bunch of people playing with me, I don't want to be flooding their microphone with all the babble that I am giving to you guys. With co-op, I might get one or two people playing as well, but it's unlikely <coughs> excuse me I just found Discordia on today I think she came on the Friday upload we had um, there was server maintenance on Friday instead of the typical Tuesday or Wednesday that consoles usually get it 
and I was away on Friday, so I came home today to find this new goddess. I played her once with a couple people in a co-op arena. <laughs> Fell in love with her right away, so I think she's going to be my next goddess that I'm going to main and try to build up real quick. I've already got either three or four diamonds and one about to go diamond. Okay, it looks Discord. like I've got... <clears throat> looks like I've got all computer on this one. So, we'll see how she works in the clash setting. <coughs> As you can see, this Cordia is a cute little fairy goddess with apple that ties in real closely to both her ultimate power and her um, storyline. She's a Roman goddess. She loves creating chaos. And you'll see a lot of her powers focus on that whole creating chaos theme. I've built up a pretty good build on her that gives her quite the cannon-like abilities. Um, she's not quite a glass cannon like some of them I've built, but she, like most mages, she is still a little bit squishy. <laughs> I haven't tanked her out, but she is going to hit hard. Like to, and I'm going to start her out with the meditation cloak. Now just while I'm going out, I'll show you the thing. She's got unruly magic, which is a projectile. I'm sorry for the jumping. Hopefully this will clear up in video. If not, I'm sorry, but you'll still probably see everything. Unruly magic is a nice projectile. Goes out, explodes. And six more little projectiles go bouncing around. You've got Strife and the AoE, which is about the size of Terra's walls that close in and smush you. Um, that area goes and damages people and then makes them go and attack each other for a second. And then you've got Erratic Behavior, which is basically an escape move. leap and then um, when you finish your leap you um, get into a nice into a nice um, invisibility area as you can see my aim's a little off hopefully that'll clear up soon sometimes it does that in the beginning and then clears up I see a nice for a kill right there. Can I get him? Ah, uh, nope. Death is a necessity. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him with that. Sometimes I take a little many chances going out there. But game if you don't take chances. In the game, you might stay to then win. Hit them with a gold ball. See, I just took golden apple. It works a lot like um, Hercules' golden apple at first. I mean, Hercules' giant boulder at first. Where it goes down and smacks into someone doing the initial damage. After that initial damage, however, it stops acting like Hercules' boulder. And makes them boast then become intoxicated and just run around like crazy. 
and um, then they explode and that's the cool part is once it explodes there at the end if anyone's close enough to them they'll give them an initial damage and make them intoxicated and run around for a couple seconds and then they explode um, the secondary explosion that the second people do does not catch anyone else though so you've only got one time where it's catching two other players dive I guess with the jumping around I couldn't tell but I was underneath the Phoenix so I'm glad I got out of there alive <laughs> sorry for all the jumping around folks my internet is not the greatest so sometimes it just decides that it's not gonna be nice when I do a couple things together like play but hopefully you'll get a sense for what her abilities are. She's really a fun mage to play. about facing the computer is when you go invisible they forget about you they're kind of like toddlers no object permanence so out of sight out of mind Pretty good cooldown on her abilities, too. Oh, I think I got them. Nope, I think I missed them. Oh, well. It was almost a good bank shot with the apple. Could upgrade her again. Your team is tower went down. That gives tower. me the ability to upgrade that. 
I have a feeling we'll probably be done this game before I get full upgrades with the rate we're going. The computer just does not seem to know what to do with this team composition we've got. Way to let a buddy down. A lot of times the AI it it's weird. They they can sometimes be easy to defeat and sometimes they're hard to defeat. Even though it's always set on easy. I'm not sure what the actual difference is. Oh, I missed. Sometimes that works really well against whoever's on your team on AI, and sometimes it just fails. But considering both their team and your team are AI, it should usually be pretty even. Since you're the only odd factor, but there's enough chaos involved, I guess, in the AI's programming that you never know quite what you're gonna get.
been slain. Curious if this no, I mean this still sees you yeah, under the under your mist. So don't think that'll hide you if you go up against the Phoenix or Tower.
Oh, Yumer, you trapped me. Okay. Titan, you're going down. There we go. Got the Titan. Last second on health. As you can see, Discordia is a pretty cool little mage. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with her. I apologize again about the jumping. Hopefully that won't show up in video, but if so, I'm sorry. Hopefully soon I'll be switching to a better internet and we won't have that anymore. So, tune in for some more good videos. And as I said before, check out the links below to help us in our fight against cancer. And that's me signing off for now for Draxus Web and Cancel Cancer. And we'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.